But before we go spending that money for the holidays, we are getting some legal logic advice. Yes, here this morning to talk holiday shopping, sending packages, and what we need to know with regard to liability and credit is our friend, attorney Brian Cuna. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Brendan. Welcome good. back. Yeah, happy Always, Thanksgiving. Same to you. Always yeah. nice to have you here this yes. time of year. We're doing a lot of shopping, a lot of ordering. Packages are coming to the house. I know I'm waiting for my Taylor Swift vinyl to arrive. <laughs> so right. there are many things to keep in mind when it comes to these packages. Who's responsible for this, right. that, the other thing. What do we need to know here? Well, intrastate shipping, in-state is state law. Right. Outside of the state is covered by what's called the Carmack Amendment, okay, which basically is uh, strict liability. In other words, if you ship a package right. and it's lost or destroyed, the ship, the carrier has to pay for it, okay? However, most of them have exemptions, which means that they, they will limit liability right. and they'll put it right in the written contract right in the bill of lading so you've got to be really careful when you ship your package what if something's damaged you know okay. right we see it on the front stoop there and it's damaged right right it's really really important that when you go to ups or federal express wherever you go that you you uh, give them a declared value okay and that the 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 package is inspected mm -hmm. if it's inspected they look at it they have to pay for the loss, okay? But it's very, very important that you put the right amount of money as to what the value is worth. Because if you don't do that, and I've had cases like this where, where someone ships it and they say, well, gee, it's going to cost me another $10, another $5, right. and, they, and they value the, the, the package at, you know, $300, and it's really $1,000, right. they're only going to get $300. And many times we're at that counter preparing to send something yes. or, or whatever, and the clerk is asking us questions, and we don't even know the answer, so it's good to be prepared when you're going in to know the everything, you know, the weight, like you said, perishable, what's in there, breakable, all that stuff. Everything is that bill of lading. The bill of lading is basically your contract. It's a contract between you, the shipper, and the carrier, whoever it is, right. if you're at the counter. And that bill of lading, that little contract, is everything. And it's the most important document there is. And when you're going to ship something, you've got to make sure that you give the right weight, the right value, mm -hmm. and the right size of the package. Because otherwise, if it's lost, you're, you're out of luck. Absolutely. Because that kind of leads us into the next topic here. Yes. If it's stolen, you know, we get home, and they say that it's been delivered, and you get there, and it's gone. Yes. If it's stolen, again, there's liability. However, if you don't declare the right value, you are out of luck. It's kind of like losing your credit card. Right. If you don't get, you know, if you don't turn in your credit card within two days, which is another interesting thing to, to talk about, two days, you got two business days to turn in to, to alert your bank that you've lost your credit card. Otherwise, you're, you're liable up to $500. If you do it within 48 hours, it's 50. Two days, 500. Over two months, you're liable for the entire thing. So we really got to act quickly and swiftly. Just some good advice for the Christmas holidays. Absolutely. With to shipping, shipping your goods. And we got to protect ourselves. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Brian. Always okay. a pleasure to have you here. If you would like even more terrific legal logic advice from Brian Kuna, just visit our website, roadshow.com.